Hey guys, Pav here. Uh, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your own uh, custom UI uh, using LVUI. Uh, I'm going to do this on my Druid. Uh, go ahead and enter the world. Now when this comes up, it's going to look like something crapped all over your screen. But don't worry, we'll, I'll go through and show you how to fix it. installation this is extremely important uh, you can skip the process if you want uh, I would recommend that you don't because this is going to go through and it's going to set up all your unit frames and everything else like that uh, for the basics uh, so you're going to go ahead and click continue uh, it's going to set up your CVARs um, not exactly 100% sure what the CVARs are but uh, go ahead and click it anyway you'll hear a little sound whenever it goes. Then hit continue. Uh, your chat windows, this is going to set those up. So you click set up chat. Continue. Uh, then it's going to give you the option for high resolution or low resolution. Uh, a lot of this is going to depend on your frame rate that you normally run. If you normally don't have any uh, lag issues, go ahead and click high resolution. Uh, if you do have a bunch of lag issues, I would go ahead and pick the low resolution. So I'm going to pick high resolution because I don't have the lag issues. Um, this tune is a, a healer um, that's got different layouts that you can pick. I'm going to go ahead and pick healer for my druid. And then it's finished. And so what you do is you're just going to click finished and it's going to reload your UI. And give this just a second to load up. Everything on here is pretty much labeled. Uh, 
works really well. Um, of course, you got your action bar here. You got your player, your target, um, your raid is. Uh, they've actually looks like they've done an update since the last time I installed this, um, where it's got your raid frames in the center. Um, I personally disabled the uh, raid frames that come with this because I use Voodoo for my raid frames. Um, you'll see over here on the right, you've got your action bar or your uh, arena frames. Uh, if you don't run arenas, don't worry about these. They won't show up. Uh, here you've got your battle net frame. That's going to pop up whenever uh, you have uh, a real ID frame come online, go offline, things like that. Um, I'm going to stack that on top of the GM frame because I really don't open a lot of tickets. So it's not really going to be uh, in the way of anything. Uh, this shift, this shift, ugh, I can't talk today, the shift AB, that's going to be your stance frame. Uh, you can drag that around, put it in different places. Um, this boss button here, that's an important one. Uh, if you're running uh, Dragon Soul and you're on Ultraxian, the, uh, the special button that you had to hit, that's what this is. Uh, the Auras frame right here, this is going to be your buffs and debuffs. Um, but as you can see, I've got, you know, I'm in flight form right now. This shows up as a buff. I'm wearing my guild tabard. Uh, your mini map over here, you've got your pet action bar. Uh, you got another action bar over here. Um, your pets, your target of target. Uh, you've got all kinds of different things around here. Most of this is pretty well self-explanatory as far as what it is. Um, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to disable some of this stuff so that I can make it look the way I want it to look. Because like I said, I don't use the raid frames, so this big blob right here in the center of my screen I don't like. Alright, so we're going to start, uh, we'll get to that here in a minute, we're going to start uh, from the top, uh, the general. Um, so your, your basic customization things that you can do to, that works over the entire UI. Um, you know, the first thing you see here is now center up, so uh, if you're a rogue and you want to show whenever you kick somebody and interrupt something, you can have it automatically put that in whichever chat that you want it to. Auto repair, whenever you visit a vendor, you can set it to either auto repair if you have access out of the guild bank, you can set it to auto repair out of your per your personal funds, or you can set it to not auto repair at all, and anytime that you visit a vendor and you open up the vendor window, it will automatically repair your gear. Um, the experience rep position, which is this bar right up here. Um, I don't like it there. I like mine below the mini map. Takes it and moves it from here, puts it right over here underneath the mini map. Nice, out of the way. I like the top of my screen uncluttered. Uh, raid reminders. Um, they'll show the uh, reminders and stuff on the mini map if you have a raid upcoming or anything like that. Auto scale takes and makes uh, the UI scale to your resolution on your monitor. Uh, that's one thing you're going to want. Um, this right here, you can enable and disable the loot roll frame. I don't know why you would want to disable this, because everybody wants to roll on loot. Um, here you got your map transparency. You can take your map, you can fade it out. Um, you can take it and you can make it bigger smaller. Uh, different things you know you can do, you can sit and play with that to get it to where you like it. I'm going to shrink mine down just a little bit. That bar's not, this bar's not going to be here anymore, but I'm just, I like it the way it is. Okay, uh, just right here you can have the LVI skin chat bubbles if you use them. I personally don't. But whenever they pop up over somebody's head now, they will be in the theme of the rest of your UI. So it won't look like it's something just thrown in there. Um, tiny map uh, makes it to where it doesn't scale the large world map. Um, so whenever you bring up your map, it doesn't take up your entire screen. Uh, kind of brings it into a little window. Uh, 
policy log tanks um, sends all of your uh, anything that pops up that are um, errors that you get LUA errors that you get from add-ons this right here takes those and, and puts them somewhere else so that you don't see them in the game mini map panels uh, is going to be these right over here uh, if you take those off or actually it's these down here um, if you take them off those disappear um, we're going to get to these areas here in just a minute these are the data text areas you've got them here you got them below each chat menu as well um, now let's get down to your panels your panels these are your panels your chat panels um, you can change the width you can make them bigger smaller uh, customize it the way you want you can change their height um, you can also go in here just to tweak it just a little bit you can see uh, you can say okay well it's off a pixel I'm gonna move it just that one pixel you can do that um, your panel backdrops you can hide them it's where you just see the chat you don't have the big black boxes anymore um, you can do one or you can do just the other or you can have them both uh, it's completely up to you it's highly customizable uh, panel textures, I haven't done much of this myself, so I'm not going to go into that because I really don't know what I'm doing there. Um, the UI has some built-in uh, textures that you can use already. Uh, if you want to make your own, you know, you can. Um, let's get down here into media. Uh, your font size. This changes the font size of everything on the UI except your chat. It does not set your chat. Uh, you can go through. I prefer to run mine on either Emblem or LVI Combat just because I like the way it looks. Bump up the uh, size just a hair. And as you can see, it changes it. Kind of gives it a little bit more of a custom look. Make it your own. Uh, the secondary textures, or actually, let's go back up here. Uh, combat text font. Whenever you're in combat, this will, uh, your, your scrolling combat text is what this does. Uh, you know, you healed so and so for, you know, 20k or, or you had a, a 50k, whatever it may be. Um, you can set the, the fonts for those as well. Um, textures uh, here, this is going to be for like, once again, because we're in general, it's going to be for the whole UI. You could change the textures. You could change it to, to Blizzard. Um, come down. Uh, I like using the. Uh, let's see which one was it? Uh, but about Voodoo ROMs is the one I like to use, uh, and I use that on both primary and secondary because I like to have different colors. No, not that one. There we go. And then you can change your colors. You can change the border color. You can change the backdrop color, the backdrop faded color. Uh, let's see, let's go to the border color. We'll go to a red. Um, go with a red color, make it a little darker. Okay, see how that changes your colors? Uh, I actually wanted to do that color on a background color. Okay, and then change this one to, let's use a blue. Nah, I don't like that one. Let's lighten it up just a hair. Actually, I'm going to switch a different, actually, my textures haven't gone through yet because I need to reload the UI to do that. Uh, there's some things in here that you can do without reloading the UI. There are some things that you do have to reload the UI to do. And if you close this out, you will see it is yelling at you, telling you uh, settings will be have been changed. You need to reload. So we'll reload and we'll be back here in just a minute. Okay, we're back. Uh, as you can see, uh, since we've reloaded, uh, some of the textures have come in uh, that I had selected. Uh, they're showing up here on the uh, the primary and the backdrop. Uh, you can't really see the backdrop textures too well because they're a little faded out. Uh, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Um, all right, let's.
let's go back into our customization menu, our slash EC, and that pretty much wraps up for uh, general. Um, well, after this, we're going to go on and we're going to move to the uh, the next menus, and I'm going to go through the entire UI. So uh, hang around, and we will do action bars next.